really here. I've got a ton of I've got 20 hydralis. That's not that's a pretty decent amount. What's he got? He's got four void rays, and he's got two back in his base. So a bunch of photon cannons just sitting here now, and I'm starting to spread the creep quite a lot further. So at this point, I've got a decent creep spread. Not much else to say. So he comes in here, and I'm waiting for him. I just knew he was coming. Meanwhile, I'm putting down two, two creep tumors because I had a lot of energy, getting more lava up. Now I'm start. Now I realise that I haven't. Bleh, I can't remember the name. Now I I realise I haven't drenched this mineral line enough. But I don't think he realises that I can see wherever the creep is. Because I've got the creep here, and he's just like completely ignoring it. So I know exactly where he's about to hit my base. Meanwhile, he's got 2,100 minerals. He's storing way too many minerals at this point. So at this point, I'm doing pretty decently. I still need to, I need to work on my drone. I need to work on putting my drones in. Now these are moving quite fast because they're on the creep. But also, I notice I'm blocked off, so I decide to kill this. But I'm now getting upgrades 3 and upgrades 2. Which, what has he got? He's got upgrades 1, 1, 1. I've got 2, 1 at this point, And I've got a bigger force than him. He could be building so many more troops at this point. I've, I've got an investor. I, to, um... What is they word? To fungal growth these babies. And I'm building some more creep tumors. Now basically, I didn't realise this, but the creep can spread over these gaps. Well, I did realise this, that's why I'm doing it. And you wait for it, and then you can put the creep down here to keep spreading it. Meanwhile, I'm doing this, like, tentacle thingy over here. And it's like, like, you can see on the map, it looks like a little tentacle. <laughs> I've got more larvae hatching. And now I'm building my Ultralisk Cavern. Why am I building the Ultralisk Cavern? So I can. So if I really need to, I can morph Ultralisks. Because, I don't know, he might have masses of Zealots building up there. But no, he's got ten Void Rays even though he knows I've got this big force of hydralisks. Now, I'm building a ton of investors here, and I'm building more drones. 46 drones. I've drenched... Drenched? I keep saying drenched. I know it's a different word. I've saturated... There we go. I have saturated my mineral line now. And, look, my income is ridiculously high then. Double on this, and almost double on this. So my income at the, this point is ridiculously higher than him. I've got five investors which fungal growth can be used extremely well with those. He's just got probes and void rays. Those are the only units he's got. And he hasn't even got that many probes. He's just, now, he finally decides to get some more gateways. And he's building a dark shrine. Now, I don't scout this at all. I just completely blank this, which is silly of me. Also, he's got warp gate, but this isn't a warp gate, which isn't very clever. But he's not upgrading, actually, anymore. He's not building anything. He just builds a ton of gateways. So he's got nine gateways here now, which would be pretty decent. But I have five infestors and 26 hydralisks, and my creep spread is half the map at this point. I've also got an ultralisk cavern. I'm building a spire so I can respond to any flying ones. I've got a little parasite, because I thought he might be building, you know, a mass force of... Uh, what's the word? Colossus, maybe, to deal with these hydralisks. That would be the sensible thing to do. And I've got three, two upgrades to his one, one, one. I've also got an overseer over here, just, you know, to chill. So, he kills this overlord, because he knows I'm scouting him. But, what he doesn't realise again, is that I can see everywhere the creep is. So, I know exactly where this big force is. Mineral field, oh, mineral field depleted. depleted. That's wonderful. So, I send these in. Now, this was really stupid. This, this is the most idiotic thing I've ever done. I just give him five infestor kills there, instantly. But I also took down a lot of his shields. And if we look at this battle, he just doesn't have the upgrade count. 3 2, I'm doing 15 a hit, and I have more than him. Upgrade count plus numbers count means I win. It's just basic. Also, I'm building lots more Hydralis to make up for my losses. I'm starting to get melee attacks, so my Ultralis aren't useless, and Chitinous Plating. I'm on my third expansion now. Really, at this point, I really know I have map control. So I should be taking a lot more bases than this, but... Meh. Can't focus on, I, don't, I can't focus on everything at once. So I've got 34 Hydralis now. And I decide to go into his base. And what do I see? I see lots of these. And what are these? These are Photon Cannons. Also, I don't notice it, but he does have Dark Templars building now. And Dark Templars are pretty scary. I do not like Dark Templars. 
There we go. There's the Dark Templars being warped in. So this he's got a pretty good tactic here, Dark Templars. Five Dark Templars could do ridiculously ridiculous blah 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 amounts of damage to my economy if he gets in there. The problem is is my economy is so high I can afford to take those losses. And what does he do? He sees my hydralisks and he just ignores them. No, he doesn't. He goes and kills them. So what do I see? I see, oh look, he's got a bunch of Dark Templars. So I run away, and I believe I bring an Overseer over. At least I should. Oh, and, and there's some Ultralisks. Yeah, let, look. So he starts, they start, they back off, because they know. Thing is, is I can see these scouts. I know these are here. So I put an Overlord there to scout. He's meanwhile blocked his basin with photon cannons, not a very clever tactic, and I have a changeling sitting in his base. I have scouted nothing up here, which is silly, I really should have, but I'm just sitting in his new expansion checking out what he's got. So he's sitting on here with quite a decent amount of Dark Templars. I'm sitting on here with 22 Hydralisks, 3 Ultralisks, and I've got an Infest Infester. Uh, where is this Infester? I don't know. I believe he's over here somewhere. But I've got this Infester, and oh look! Oh, hello, Dark Templars. I have spotters. So, the reason I built these Ultralisks was to break through these Photon Cannons. Because, let's face it, that's a lot of Photon Cannons there. And I have ridiculous amounts of map control. Also, I start building Zerglings. Just because, you know, I have the money. I have ridiculous amounts of cash, but I don't have the gas to spend it on anything else. So, I just decide, hey, let's build some Zerglings. Now, at this point, I should be... I know that he's walled in at this base. I should be taking lots more expansions at this point because look I've got so much map control I could just build a base here and a base here because I can see them I know he's not there it's just simple but I don't which isn't very clever of me also I have a fleet of overseers namely ten of them because <laughs> I know that he's got Dark Templars morphing in now he really should have changed tactic to something that could beat this ground force maybe Colossus and Immortals Immortals take down the Hydralisk Colossus against the Sorry, I'm all to take down the Ultralisk, I'll also take down the Hydralisk. Also, I have a ton of Zerglings. 44 to be precise. <laughs> 44 to be precise. You can see the number. Shut up, Simonic. So, also, he's morphing in a ton more Photon Cannons. He's got almost no money. Why? Oh, look. Nothing. He's got nothing there. He's now down to one base. I, however, am still on two bases. And I've saturated these two mineral lines. I don't have, a ga have the gas mineral line, so I'm... I believe I send these in, but I don't use them, which is really stupid. But, I'm now getting upgrades too. And in I go. So I send the, these in first, basically to soak up damage. And I start sending in these Ultralisks. Now, I block my other Ultralisks with my Hydralisk, which is really stupid. Because Focus Fire from Void Rays can take down Ultralisks really easily. So I move out the way. These two come in. And this is a pretty I do pre pretty decent damage to his base. I mean, it's not amazing, but it's pretty decent. I break down all his photon cannons. And then I get out of there. Meanwhile, I have 18 lava. So I can instantly replenish that force, whereas he's lost pretty much everything. And about, what, 1,500 worth of... worth of photon cannons. Meanwhile, I have an even bigger creep spread now. Look, I can see almost the entire map. What can he see? That. He doesn't know that my creep's all the way over here. He has no idea what I've got. So he's decided to saturate this mineral line. He's got some more of these. He's got some zealots. What have I got? Nothing at this point. But what am I building? Another two hatcheries. Now, this is quite clever of me. Well, actually, it's really stupid of me. I should have built these a lot earlier. I have lots of money. He kills one of my creep as I build them. I have lots of money. And I should be building more hatcheries because it just adds more lava. Also, I've got creep that hasn't doing it. It isn't doing anything here. So I'm building more ultralisks. I now have three, 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 and about to get two upgrades. I have the spy of grooms my hydralisks. What is that noise? Oh right, it's the dark templars he's got there. Sorry, I'm looking at my view. There you go, he's got some Dark Templars over there. Now, I just kind of swarm him, because he's only got one Dark Templar there. 
And then what to do? I just send in my fleet of over. Now that's another problem. That's another wrong thing I do. I should have these spread across the map. Instead I have them in a big bunch. Which isn't very clever of me really. But I have more ultralisks. And just oh dear. Hey guys, and we're back. Sorry about that. I'm not sure what happened. StarCraft 2 just killed on me. Anyway, so there's no real point in this, so I'll speed it up. Basically, I expand the creep. Now, at this point, this is one of the things I do horribly wrong. I know I have map control. Look, I have the creep basically up to the front of his base. No matter what he does, I can see what he's doing. So, surely... Ah, this is where he's warping in all the Dark Templars. Fair enough. But surely, I should be building, like, four more bases. Just because I can. There's no other reason. I have the amount of it... I have the units to do so. So, I should be, shouldn't I? I mean, field so, he starts building a new base. He's got... If we just open this. He's got 11 Dark Templars. Now, that's not a bad force. I mean, 45 damage each, but he hasn't got any upgrades for them at all, except one shield upgrade. I mean, that's not that great, really. And there goes my Zerglings. So I just decide, you know what? I'll just send in a bunch of Zerglings, you know, like this cannon fodder. Now, he, unfortunately, Dark Templars just annihilate Zerglings. So I say, I think, I decide, well, let's bring in a bigger force. So I destroy Dark Templars because they're really weak. So I'm just camping outside his base now. So he has another base, but it's really not going to beat me now. Look, if we look at income, I'm beating him. I actually only have one base at this point. So I go to a new one. I really should have done that a lot earlier. But I've got a massive force. Now look at these. 109 Zerglings. If we just slow it down a bit. And what am I going to do with these Zerglings? Wait for it. Oh look, Banelings. When in doubt, resort to Banelings, folks. That's the... That is the... Word. That is the moral of this story. And look at that. All my resources gone. And I've only got 63 Banelings. Isn't that amazing? Then again, 63. And I've still got 82 Zerglings left. So. Now that they've all hatched and we've got a lot of Banelings, I have four Ultralisks. Somewhere. So I send in my Zerglings as cannon fodder. Just, you know, soften them up, take out a few of the cannons. And then I just attack, move these babies into the base. And observe the results. That is what happens, folks, when Zerglings enter an enemy base. Well, at least that many Zerglings. So he runs out of his base to get attacked by those. And that is pretty much game over. I've broken through his forces. I may still have 82 Zerglings left. And I, st I have another base up. His base has only just begun. And I still have four Ultralisks. I have Ultralisks down here. I have a ton of Zerglings. And I have Ultralisks up here. So I mean the question is, what really could he do at this point? 80 Banelings. Nah. Only about 60 or so. So he has so many photon cannons that he pretty much can kill them, but I've got 3-3 three, three on all my upgrades. So, that's about GG, but I mean, look how much map control I had, and I wasted it all. I mean, I had the entire map under my control, I could have had four more expansions up there, which would pretty much take all the expansions, but, oh well, I didn't. Lonely, he is so lonely. <laughs> anyway, this has been Simon Gaming, you've been watching How Not To Play. StarCraft 2. I hope you enjoyed. See you next time.